video 10, baby, and it's time for another update. Heck yeah, haven't done one of these for a while. Granted, I've shown stuff that I've gotten, but never in this way but in a while. But um, getting back to it uh, right now, got to make this quick because I got to go, because after this, I got to go do something. But yeah. Um, even though with this whole corona thing going on, haven't really um, gotten much, but still got quite a few stuff. Um, for example, I might have shown this already, but um, it's like I thought, yeah, I did in the video. It's actually the other two things I left over here, actually. But yeah, got me two magazines, uh, one uh, Game Informer, the other... Uh, uh, Fangoria and one, two games and one, two, three, six, six DVDs. Um, two games, six DVDs. That's what we got right now. But starting off, here's the Game Informer that I got. Um, this one has a uh, Dead Rising on the back. Um, this one's a cover story for Assassin's Creed. Gonna start reading this soon because I really want to play Assassin's Creed. Looks very cool. Um, but yeah, definitely looks like a good issue. Um, uh, can't wait to talk, can't wait to dig into this and read it. And of course, Fangoria, this one is issue 254. Uh, this is the June one with the summer stuff. They have the thing for uh, The Omen, which I plan to see tomorrow. The Descent is on the front cover, which is a movie that I cannot wait to see. Um, it's my laptop going off. But, um, the Descent, that's one I really want to check out this summer. And they have the first news for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. I am so pumped for that movie to check it out. Uh, Blade the Series, Subject to uh, Stephen King's Nightmares and Dreams. So definitely, be, definitely have been reading this. Really pumped to check out The Omen. I'll get my thoughts on that. Uh, but those are the two magazines I got. Now on to the games. And the first game that I actually got, this is one that I was really interested in checking out. Um, I was very, like, in the middle with buying it, but was playing. But I figured, you know what, why not check it out? I thought it looked interesting, and I'm going to start it a little bit later. And that game is none other than Yakuza. For the PlayStation 2. Can't wait to give this game a try. I think it looks great. Um, I know that this version that I have is the dubbed English version. I know a lot of people complain about that. But I don't care because I think this game has an amazing voice cast. I like the fight mechanics from what I've played. And the voice cast of this game. You got Mark Hamill. You got Michael Madsen. Um, you got uh, Elijah Dushku. Uh, so many great people in this game. Um... Can't wait to give this a shot and play it. So far from what I've played, it's really fun. Very well-made game. Uh, but I'll get my review on it once I've beaten it. And then here's another game that I've been waiting a long time for. Um, that is Urban Chaos Ride Response. This is for the Xbox. It's also on the PlayStation 2. I got the Xbox version, though. And this game is a lot of damn fun. This is such a fun effing game. I love the heck out of this game from what I've played. Basically in the game you're like a cop and you go around like in this town where this crime is rampant. You got these guys in uh, Jason masks from what I've played killing people. Um, um, you can use anything. You could tase them. Um, I've gone through the first three missions. It's really fun. Uh, you can also take like these uh, what was it? Meat cleavers and throw it at them. Them. Shows how much fun it is being a cop in this game, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, people get... It's just a cool ass game. You can watch those mofos burn. Go and burn, baby, burn! <laughs> Again, it's a game, so I'm not really going around burning them, but... um, Don't get your panties in a twist. So yeah. And if you can't, get off the channel. Sorry to say, but... That is Urban Chaos Riot Response. A really, really uh, fun game. For what I've played, I'll do a review on it once I've beaten it. And now on to the DVDs. A couple of the, a few of the, like, three of these I've already reviewed. Um, couple, one of them I saw already, but figured why not uh, get it, so I reviewed it. And this one, Underworld Evolution, I reviewed this uh, back in uh, February. I saw it that, the month before it, and finally got the DVD of it. This is the special edition, um... Very good film. If you guys want to see my thoughts on it, definitely check back on the channel. Um, I know uh, a good subscriber of mine, Blaze the Movie Fan, he reacted to the review. Uh, 
said I and gave me some pointers and have them written down, put them up there, and basically gonna use those. But I thought this was a fun film, definitely an improvement over the first. It's not as talky as the first one. Just all around had a fun time with it. The makeup, the gore. It's a great movie. Uh, and in terms of features, uh, you got filmmakers, commentary, director, filmmaker, hybrid theory, visual effects featurette, the war rages on, stunts featurette. You get a making of featurette, uh, bloodlines from script to screen, making monster roar, creature featurette, uh, building a saga, production design featurette. You got a music video, uh, music and mayhem, and a music video by Ateria. Uh, her portrait in black, um, and a music and sound design feature. Ed. So, great DVD, great to have for the collection. Um, if you guys want to know my thoughts on it, definitely check out my review of it. Um, definitely pumped to see where they go next with this series. So, that's Underworld Evolution. Next up is one that I've already reviewed. I really, really like this film. Uh, definitely, I think, one of the better Happy Madison films without Adam Sandler even though there's not that many of them. Uh, Grandma's Boy, I thought this was a really fun film. This is the unrated version, so it's obviously going to be different from what I saw in the theater. Uh, so, unrated, uh, totally hilarious, and totally unrated. Um, I really thought this film was hilarious. It did not deserve to bomb. I thought it could have done better. I think the director um, wasn't given enough credit, and I think he just went in there with little with what very little he had, but I thought this was a really fun movie, definitely a funny comedy, um, and just a great time that I had, and I think one of the funnier comedies I've seen this year, but that's Grandma's Boy, and in terms of features, you got the two theatrical and unrated version, audio commentary by Alan Covert, Nick Swartz, and Peter Dante, audio commentary by the director, Nicholas Gosen, so you got three commentary tracks, Cover Wax It and Monkey Feature at uh, Deleted Scenes, Scenes That Went Up in Smoke, Unsmoked Material, and Smoke That Marthages. Fox Movie Channel Presents Casting Session, and a music video by uh, 22's called Another Day, Just Another Day, Just Another Day, and more. So definitely get a lot of bang for your buck with this DVD. But if you guys want to see hear my thoughts on it, definitely check out my review of it. And the next DVD I got, this is one that I picked up recently um, at my local shop, uh, my local rental store that, that they were selling DVDs. I found this there, and I was surprised to find this because this movie is so damn hard to find, but I really wanted to see this film. I thought it looked awesome. I love the idea of it. And the fact that the killer is actually played by Michael Bailey Smith. I shit you not, Pluto from the Hills Have Eyes remake. So I really wanted to see this film. And that is Monster Man. Yeah, this movie. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know of it. Written and directed by Michael Davis, who, go, who went from this and is directing Shoot 'em Up. That I actually really want to see with uh, Clive Owen and uh, Paul Giamatti. So I look forward to seeing that. But this was like his first leap into the feature world. And it looks like a fun film. Definitely one that I plan to review soon. I like the idea of these kids that are going across the highway. These two guys that are just driving along to get to this wedding. And what happens is basically they run into this dude in this monster truck who's Michael Bailey Smith. Um, and basically um, they... He starts messing with them on the highway and starts killing people all around and looks like a fun movie. I saw, I saw this on TV a little bit and I really wanted to see it. So I actually tried to find high and low for this DVD, but I finally got it and definitely can't wait to sit down and watch it all the way through because I saw the last few minutes of it. But in terms of features, you got a commentary by director and writer Michael Davis and actors Eric Jungman and Justin Yulrich. Director's animated short with optional audio commentary, original EPK, um, electronic press kit, gag reel, and just the usual stuff like closed captioning, that jit shit, that bullshit, uh, which it shouldn't even be on the special features thing. But um, yeah, I can't wait to check this film out and get my thoughts on it. I might do it as a review for a summer movie reviews, but... That's Monster Man. Man, I love the design of that creature. I'm pretty sure any woman on the highway would, ever, would, be, would be screaming their tit off when they saw this guy. Because this guy is one scary looking guy. And this, thing, this film, from what it sounds like, it seems like a warm-up to uh, his role in The Hills Have Eyes. So, 
so maybe he did this. He's like, I might get the hills have eyes, so may do this. Or maybe it's the other way around. They saw him in this, and they decided that's the guy I want for the hills have eyes. And next up is one that I love. This is a movie that I love, and I've already reviewed it. Shut up. Phone's going off. Shut up. Don't give a heck. Uh, but this is a film that I love. I've already reviewed it. I sung this film praise, and I love the hell out of it. And that is... Running Scared, if you guys want to hear my thoughts on it, definitely check it out. This movie did not deserve to bomb. F you to uh, date movie for getting the first place in the weekend of this movie. And F you to all, to all those other films that opened up. Because this movie is miles better than that. And this film should have got its audience. Not the, and I think it was the stupid, preteen, teeny bopper, sex wanting, sex hungry, oh, a laugh at anything crowd that went to see Date Movie instead of this. Screw those people. I'm sorry to say, but this film deserved it. And if you do this again, I'll hunt you down in the worst way possible. <laughs> gotcha. Mess it. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't get your, oh my god, I'm scared. But yeah, Running Scared, I love this movie. I think it's a great action film. One of the best ones I've seen in a long time. So yeah, Running Scared is definitely one to watch. Um, not really much for features, but um, you get a commentary with writer-director Wayne Kramer, behind-the-scenes documentary, storyboards drawn by Wayne Kramer, and that's pretty much it. So very disappointing DVD, but... I think it's still, but I, for the movie, I'm glad to have it. Next up is one that I actually saw with my brother in uh, December, and I actually really enjoyed this film. Uh, might seem like a warm-up to, like, Hostel and all those films, but I still enjoyed the film. Might n Not as good as Hostel or um, even Hills Have Eyes or Slither, but definitely better, I think, than uh, Silent Hill, even though I like Silent Hill, but that is... Wolf Creek, and this is the unrated version. Um, I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was, I liked it a lot. Definitely, definitely disturbing. It's definitely unnerving. Might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I still have a really good time with it. Um, with it. Um, just thought it was a great film. John Jared, I think, is creepy as hell as uh, Mick Taylor. Um, oh, no, don't, don't cry. I got a bullet hole in my neck and I ain't winching, am I? Really enjoyed Wolf Creek. Uh, but in terms of features, you get a commentary with director and der Greg Glean, executive producer Matt Heron, and actors Cassandra Megath and Kat Katie Morrissey. The making of Wolf Creek comic documentary, a deleted scene and a two theatrical trailer. So, might not seem like much, but you definitely will get a lot for your buck with this movie. So, yeah, definitely one you want to check out. Um, these next two are DVDs that, um, are, that I really wanted to get. Uh, one of them I've never seen before. I thought it looked really funny. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this film and definitely really wanted to check this out. And that is Wet Hot American Summer. I always like that cover. Kind of gives out a little Animal House vibe to it. I've heard a lot of great things about this film. I thought it looked really funny. Um, the, the critical reception was harsh when this came out, but it has grown a fan base, so I was interested in checking it out and everything, and I haven't seen it yet, but I will soon. I'll do a review on it for several movie reviews, but um, really looks like a fun film. In terms of features, you got... And this is a good cast, too. But before I actually get into the feature, this is a good cast. Jenny Garofalo, David Hyde Pierce, Molly Shannon, Paul Rudd, Christopher Maloney, Michael Shaw Walter, uh, um, who else? Um, Jenny Garofalo, comedian from uh, The Wild. Um, she was all, she's in a bunch of films. David Hyde Pierce from uh, Frasier and Osmosis Jones. Molly Shannon was also in Osmosis Jones. Um, Paul Rudd in a young role. This was right before, um, this was when he was doing stuff like Romeo and Juliet. Um, he was in a bunch of other films. Uh, um, the 40, then he would go on to do 40 Year Old Virgin, all that. He'd do Anchorman. This is in those predates that a little bit. Um, Michael Ian Black's also in this. Ken Moreno, uh, Amy Poehler, Brad, a really young Bradley Cooper before Wedding Crashers. Uh, he's in this. Uh, 
over Elizabeth Banks before Slither and Spider-Man all that. She's here as well. Good cast. Definitely a great cast. So I'll give my thoughts on this later. And the last DVD I have to add to my uh, Peter Jackson collection is one that I've been hearing a lot of great things about. I know this film bombed when it came out. Didn't do as well as they hoped. But I wanted to see this film for such a long time. And I particularly wanted to see it in this edition because this is the edition that Peter... Jackson wanted the film in, that is The Frighteners. Uh, this is the uh, director's cut version of it. Um, um, I don't know if it's two hours and three minutes, so it might be a little bit longer. It's that usual Peter Jackson sort of thing, but it looks like a fun film. Definitely looks like a really well-made film. Uh, I really love Peter Jackson's horror films, and to see this edition of it, I think it'll be great. I know this got cut to shit by the studio when it came out. But it looks like a fun movie. Um, with features, you get a special introduction to the film by Academy Award winning director Peter Jackson, storyboarding of key scenes, including the slime face and blob man sequence with commentary by Peter Jackson, in-depth feature commentary by Peter Jackson, his first feature commentary ever throughout his commentary. Jackson points out deleted scenes that might that have been incorporated into the movie, making this the director's cut, making up the Frighteners, a full-length documentary. Um, Directed by Peter Jackson, featuring interviews with Michael J. Fox, Tareen Alberto, D. Wallace Stone, Jake Busey, Chi McBride. This documentary also includes Outrageous Bloopers, Lost Footage Found, The Gatekeeper, The Judge, and Other Deleted Seeds. Ghost Story, Jackson and actor Jim Faithy share their actual per close encounters with ghosts. Um, script development, uh, behind the scenes, uh, cast rehearsals, extensive exploration of the spectacular special effects motion control and screen techniques, introduction to uh, Jackson's visual effects facility, Weta, close-up, and it looks at use of the miniature and much more. So definitely a great addition. If you're a fan of the Frighteners, definitely get this addition. Um, I've never seen the movie, but I've heard good things about it. I've heard that from a couple people who are not a fan of his Lord of the Rings and King Kong, this is his last good film. I know there's another movie, uh, Meet the Feebles, that's, that I want to get coming to DVD, uh, so I'll be on the lookout for that. But this is The Frighteners. Uh, definitely excited to check that film out. And that's pretty much all I got. Um, definitely got a lot. Um, I'm sorry it may not seem like much like usual, but it's just with this whole uh, thing, the stores are closed. All I'm having to do is order online. So I get a bunch of this stuff online so that I can just so I can watch them and everything. But the stores are already opening up, so I'll be able to do that. But um, yeah, I can't, uh, definitely uh, really looking forward to checking this stuff out. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Talking with Peter episode three. We'll film another one soon. And also be on the lookout for my review of The Warriors. Definitely looking forward to reviewing this game. I want to get it reviewed in preparation for Bully. I also have a review of The Transporter coming, 2001 Maniacs. I also have Spider-Man 2, which I really wanted to review for a while. So you'll see that. And also I'm going to do a review of Mother's Day and then Dave Chappelle's Block Party and all that. So be on the lookout for those. But I'll see you guys later. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen any of these films. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on the wonderful world of YouTube. Bye.